woken up because the city is being fucking shelled that we're in. You can see in the distance. As soon as the declaration goes up. Oh, fuck, that's a missile, that's a fuck. missile. That's a fucking missile. That was one of those, like, high... Five hundred on the morning, Thursday, twenty fourth of February, uh, from Kramatorsk. We have just started receiving um, fire. You can fucking hear it coming in. You could feel it. That's what woke me up. And then, yeah, we'll see. So it's the war has probably just fucking just started. I was pretty convinced this wasn't going to go to this, but we'll see. I'm getting my shit ready to see what the fuck we do from here. Right, the attack has just started. I'm outside, um, fucking moving locations somewhere a little bit fucking better than where I was, purely just because where I was was booked through Airbnb and trackable to my location. So that is being moved, updated right now. Um, there are fucking buses running on the street, people walking around, normal people getting groceries. Very fun. So you can hear rockets moving overhead, so I might have to fucking boost out of here, but. If my Ukrainian friends watch this, fucking keep your heads down, stay away from windows, get low if you can, and don't go on the street if you don't need to. Looks like we're on, baby. Oh, oh, fucking hell, fuck, mate. As soon as the declaration goes up. Oh, fuck, that's a missile, that's fuck. a missile. Fuck, hell. That's a fucking missile. That was one of those, like, hypersonic fucking shit. missiles. Jesus Christ. All right, we've got to Yeah, we've got to hump it. I can't fucking believe right. it. Right, we're out, dudes. Oh, maybe we'll stay. Right. Are you good? I'll speak to you soon. Right. Okay, so we just saw one of those fucking real Gucci Russian missiles come close as fuck over the city. Holy shit! There's a mushroom cloud straight through here. Okay. Kids. Old Babushka getting in the car. People are evacuating as we speak. There's fucking rounds and Artie landing. It's fucking late for that. Right, we're back on the street. We're moving with all this shit. The Artie has picked up again. It's Bryce at Bryce Wilson AU. Um, we moved through, well, through some sort of missile and Artie fired again. I, can't, I could here. not believe. I, Willie and I were walking and I'm live streaming, you know, and it's, uh, know, it's just another morning in Ukraine. And then you just hear this hypersonic Sounds missile fly, uh, fly straight over us and uh, impacted the airfield near where, that's why we're leaving this area because it's right next to a military airfield. Uh, huge mushroom cloud, fucking arty. Uh, where, where are we thinking? Strike any. Yeah, um, arty, uh, everything's just going crazy here. Like this, this is war. Russia has declared war on Ukraine and has launched a nation, like a nationwide invasion, a multi-front invasion. Yeah, there are reports of ground troops in some of the other cities. Sorry about my hair, it's too hot to have a beanie on. Um, we'll get better footage as we go. We're just moving all our shit at the moment to a better place. This um, has just happened. In the last, uh, about the last hour, war has started. Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll be back as we can. It's exploded. I couldn't fucking leave it. And I, like, I captured the whole thing. Right, so we've humped it to where a lot of the Western media is because we figure they have private cars and lifts and fucking some idea uh, but we've met a couple of guys with no medical kit and you know basically doing what I'm doing but with maybe even less experience if there's people that can be less experienced than myself I know, I know journalists aren't likes but everyone needs to look after each other and we're all in this together um, I love all the live crosses of people in all their body armors and helmets and shit but in relative safety um, but we'll see how we go so um, I'm pretty fucking fragged after all that walking around with fucking weight on it's been a while since i've done that fucking shit uh, next time i need to be fitter and i need to fucking get some of that shit going i cannot believe that fucking sonic missile i'll have to go back through my um 
my footage on my live stream, see if I can see it, but 50 meters above, it's just fucking zzz, straight through one of those like ones. They look like a canoe with little wings on it. The fucking cruise missiles, man. I can't believe one of them actually fucking came through. I've only seen like animations of those. And then, you know, taking cover as we see Artie coming in. Like if you can see the rocket, see the shell. That's not, that's not a good sign. Um, there's still people with money out of banks doing everything. So this will be a little bit all over the place, I apologise. I'm um, just doing the best I can with no experience here, but fucking strapping guys. Um, hope you're all well. We've got here now to relative safety. Um, we are at a good location. Uh, there is a bunker here, yet we don't want to stay here. We need to move uh, west. Um, when you see this video, if you see it, then don't be worried. Um, but yeah, if anything does happen to me and you do find this, um, love to everyone. Um, love to Lily and my parents and Mick. Uh, pretty awesome. Um, many good fucking right um heartbreak absolute heartbreaking images coming out of the front line i've got friends there um and it, it's it, it's the, the it's absolutely catastrophic on the front i cannot believe that a country like russia a country that is civilized and logical has done this to the world and they have do not get this fucking wrong don't Australia, this is some political fucking bullshit move. I don't give a fuck what it is. It is a catastrophe. You have invaded another fucking country. You have killed thousands for nothing other than one fucking bloke's cause of thinking that they have some ownership over this land and this people. Um, that's my little rant done. Um, but it's fucking heartbreaking to see what's happened and it hasn't sunk in yet. And I think it will sink in over the coming days, weeks, and um, of what's happen down there and we'll, we'll see so look after yourselves um and i'll see you soon i'll let you know as soon as i'm safe okay thank you guys very difficult decision but we've made a plan or well, the choice between us to leave kramatorsk and evacuate to a safer location um it's difficult and there's definitely differing opinions on what's safe what's not but better off making a decision early and rolling with it, committed to it, than trying to do it too late, I guess. But we're all good. The boys are here, big warning, pretty burnt out. Uh, <laughs> pretty burnt out from fucking trying to dodge some rounds. But um, <laughs> we'll speak to you soon. This is Stefan, our Danish friends in a minute. All right. These guys are legends. We love them. Even if we don't understand the, like, 20 languages they speak. But they <laughs> understand the single language I talk. <laughs> so they can talk shit about me, but I can't speak shit about them. <laughs> One of the adventures is having a uh, small language. Yes. 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 It's terrible. Easy. I'll check in in a bit. Yeah, I can't. Yeah.